Alrighty, so our next topic is going to be talking about Meta unveiling a an AI research supercluster. We've been talking about metaverses quite a bit, and uh, I'm going to continue to talk about metaverses because if we're being honest, um, to a certain extent, the metaverse is happening whether us old boomer gamers like it or not. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar, I have gamed since I was a kid. I was early in Twitch. I never was successful in Twitch necessarily. Maybe like 30 live concurrent viewers at any given time. But uh, I do enjoy gaming a lot. I used to run a gaming podcast as well for many years with well over a couple hundred episodes uh, just talking about gaming industry and so on from about 2012 to maybe about 2016, 2017, somewhere in there. So many years of just like actually being interested in it, that sort of thing. One of the things that I, I mean, like I'm super standoffish about with the metaverse and it's tie into NFTs, etc., is how much of an advantage gaming companies take over, of course, microtransactions as they already currently sit. Some outliers around this that I think are okay is like trading card games, something like Gods Unchained, which I'm going to be covering on the channel here in a little bit. Not because actually it's into crypto, but it's into crypto and I've been playing it and enjoying it. So there's a huge difference between, I think, like what a crypto metaverse channel is going to cover and what we'll cover over here. I don't have time to go through all the metaverse stuff. Now, of course, Gods Unchained isn't a metaverse, but I've been playing it, so I'm gonna, I'm interested in it. You guys might be interested in it as well, so we'll cover it. As far as talking about all the metaverse stuff, though, it is uh, kind of one of those things that's going to happen, right? If you have already Microsoft talking about it, you already have Facebook talking about it, you already have pretty much all the big players talking about the metaverse, getting in on it, it's going to happen it's going to be super important and relevant just overall in our society. So we need to be up to date and it should help us get some ideas on what, where essentially the crypto market is headed as well. But coming from WCCF tech meta unveils the AI research supercluster supercomputer powered by Nvidia's a 100 GPU and packs 220 petaflops of horsepower. Meta reveals today that they have not only designed, but built the new AI research supercluster RSC, possibly the most efficient AI supercomputers currently in the industry and the world and powered by Nvidia's latest Ampere A100 GPUs. Keep in mind that the company states that it is built but also declares that it is not fully built but does anticipate complete production in the middle of 2022. Meta currently, let's zoom in here so you guys can see it. I keep forgetting. Meta currently has researchers utilizing the RSC to run computations to train models in natural language processing, NLP, along with computer vision for research purposes with the goal of training AI with trillions of parameters. The new research supercluster will aid Meta's research of artificial intelligence to develop improved AI models that will be smarter and capable of learning from trillions of instances, uh, process information from several languages simultaneously, analyze text, images, and video simultaneously, create unique augmented reality devices and implemented tools, along with several other projects in the designing stages. Meta wants to see AI powered applications and developments take the lead in creating the virtual universe that society incorporates as a mere buzzword. One example of the new AI supercomputer is the capability to control voice translation from a large group of people in real time instead of using human translators to slow the conversation, allowing many people to collaborate on a project or play a multiplayer game at once. But the underlying use for the new research supercluster is to help build new technologies for the metaverse. Facebook initially created the AI Research Lab in 2013 when the company executed a long-term investment in artificial intelligence. 
Several advancements in AI have become incorporated into our world, and Meta explains how their progression is included in transformers that assist AI models to process information higher than before by pinpointing specific areas and self-supervised learning, helping formulas comprehend a large number of numerals from unknown examples. To fully realize the benefits of self-supervised learning and transformer-based models, various domains, whether vision, speech, language, or for critical use cases like identifying harmful content, will require training increasingly large, complex, and adaptable models. Computer vision, for example, needs to process larger, longer videos with higher data sampling rates. Speech recognition needs to work well in challenging scenarios with lots of background noise, such as parties or con uh, concerts. NLP needs to understand more languages, dialects, and accents, and advances in other areas, including robotics, embodied AI, and multi-model AI will help people accomplish useful tasks in the real world. Since high-performing computing infrastructures are crucial to artificial intelligence training, Meta divulges that they have researched and built systems to fulfill these needs for many years. Their first version initially came to design in 2017, utilizing 22,000 NVIDIA V100 Tensor Core graphics processors located on a single grouping to complete... 35,000 training assignments in a day. This design element permitted the research teams at Meta to achieve high levels of productivity, performance, and reliability. So this has ramifications across pretty much everything crypto-wise, especially actually for us as GPU miners. What you may have seen was the interview I did with Daniel Keller from Flux yesterday, the CSO and founder. One of the things that they've been working on is proof of useful work. Proof of useful work would actually tie in great here because it will allow a decentralized method for whether that be independent developers or companies outside of NVIDIA and of course, uh, Facebook, for example, to access the sort of horsepower that would be needed to perform any or all of these tasks that they are talking about in this article. I think it's going to be super relevant if they can figure it out because otherwise what you end up having is a very centralized form of control through the hardware and the companies that own that hardware over basically the metaverse in general. Now, we've already kind of talked about Microsoft pretty much buying up all the IPs. That's going to be a problem. We already are aware of that. But we also now have essentially, as far as the processing power goes for the metaverse, being centralized into Facebook and their meta program here as we talk about it. So decentralizing things like this, moving us you know, away from the, centralized, the potentially centralized control of the metaverse is going to be important and projects like Flux and hopefully others are going to be the ones that help us get there. Other than that, of course, there are of there are scary things that they like to say here that that make me nervous. For example, if we're talking about critical use cases like identifying harmful content, um, this can get really tricky from an ethical and moral standpoint because what we are talking about is essentially, uh, we're talking about AI driven censoring or censorship. And when we start talking about censorship, things are a little difficult. Of course, like if we have our kiddos playing around in the metaverse, we would like some sort of way that basically prevents them from accessing content that could be potentially damaging to their ever evolving psyche, right? That's gonna be part of it. At the same time though, if that goes too far and these algorithms kind of take off and we start seeing, of course, censorship of speech that maybe is just disagreeable to one side or the other and one of the concepts that I was actually looking into here recently, I was listening to Joe Rogan. I forgot the guy's name, uh, but of course I do listen to Joe Rogan. So there you go. Um, was him kind of talking about the concepts of 
not even necessarily that people are deliberately writing algorithms to censor certain speech, et cetera, but just by nature of the programming going into it, you can end up with maybe not even an intentional censorship uh, when we're talking about flagging things as misinformation or hate speech or whatever it may be. And if it takes off with an AI computer, that could be a really interesting dystopia in the future. I'm just saying, I don't know. That's my cyberpunk brain going off and creating these crazy dystopian worlds in my head that could possibly be. But that's tinfoil hat stuff and uh, just kind of uh, fun. It would be fun to write a book or a whole world around it, right? I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.